Everybody's running and the world is getting so crazy. People work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some rays. Better hurry up, just got some days. Playing games, hanging out, going closer, there's no doubt. To the big tree. I'll soon be meeting the guys here to start our weekend. Apparently, Tish has an exciting surprise plan for us. I can't wait to find out what it is. Even though our last exciting surprise was a museum tour. And the one before that was a museum tour. And the one before that was a museum tour. Jinkies. Am I stoked? This is the famed Venus de Milo, on loan from the Louvre in Paris. How fortunate we are to be so close to such a masterpiece. And yet not so close as to actually touch it and smudge it with our nasty, filthy little hands. <sighs> I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. And I like stuff with arms. Now we move on to bronze pot handles of ancient Borneo. Aww. Let us all stay close together, but not so close as to actually step on my heels with our nasty, filthy little sneakers. We gotta get out of here. I'll do anything. Wait, uh, I know. I'll fake appendicitis, and you guys can rush me to the emergency room? Mm, I like it. But, uh, tiny problem? People will expect to see a scar. I'm willing to actually have the surgery if it gets me out of this museum. Wait, hold up a second. Where's Tish? Maybe she's in the cafeteria. No way. This is Tish? The most artsy intellectual person on the planet? If she's not drooling over the art, I guarantee you she's at least doing something art-related. I say we ditch the tour to find her. Let's do it. We'll start in the cafeteria. But you just said she wouldn't be there. Yeah, but I'm hungry. And we add vitamin C for depth and to accentuate the contour continuation of the landscape. Okay, approach with extreme caution. Tish? Hey there, how you doing? Tish, what's going on? Is the food here that bad? Yes. But that's got nothing to do with it. This is something I call abstraction through available sundries. Yeah? Stand back! I'm about to introduce organic texture. Put down the cilantro. Slowly. Now step away from the canvas. But the art going public will be crushed! Won't you? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter to me, really. Philistines. Since you clearly have an overwhelming desire to be creative, why not do it through one of the many classes the museum offers? Classes? Classes? Classes! Staring at that clay for nearly an hour. Then toi tranquille. Is that something nasty? Because if it is, you can find yourself another model. I just said keep still. Look, I'm flattered you want to sculpt me and everything, but my whole dairy area is falling asleep. All right, I'm ready. This is gonna be worth it, Carver. Not many people can say they've had their image immortalized in non-toxic artificial modeling clay. Immortalized, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. I can't get enough of this magnificent piece of art. 
They should return the Statue of Liberty to the French and put this in its place. This statue will preserve the glorious image of Carver Descartes forever. Hey, buzz off! Get off my head! Take a hike! I said sit still! Ready? Un, deux, trois, ta-da! Hey, this is name of the skull pattern, ta-da? No, Poppy, I call it Carver. So, what do you think? Pretty, pretty, pretty. And do you guys like it? Okay. <laughs> we all hate it like poison. Do we tell her? What would you do? Oh, man, I hate this kind of stuff. Uh, Tish, this, uh, this carver, wow. That puts you right up there with Michelangelo and all those other museum kind of guys. What he said. Oh, you guys. What do you think, Carver? <laughs> He's speechless with delight. Oh, I think this calls for a celebration. Yes, yes. I made upside-down pineapple cake pie. Tish and Poppy, you come help me lift it. Is this the ugliest piece of junk ever, or is it me? It's both. All right, stand back. I'm going to put this thing out of my misery. No! What were you thinking, dude? That I wish Tish lived in a high-rise? I mean, what if people see this thing? I'll be humiliated. It's true. Remember last year's Arts and Crafts Fair? They showed that ugly painting of Chloe Montez, and she locked herself in the bathroom for a week. I know. They had to feed her aerosol cheese through a keyhole. Like, shh. Look, sure, we don't like the thing, but Carver, you know how sensitive artists are. You can't let Tish know you hate her sculpture. It'll crush her. Okay, okay. I'll pretend I like it. Uh, why is my sculpture out on the lawn? Well, that is an excellent question. Tino, why don't you field this one, and I'll take the next one. Thanks. Um, well, the truth is, well, we brought your sculpture out here so, uh, so people could see it. It's, it's a crime to keep it shut up indoors. Is this true, Carver? You guys are so right. My work must be put on public display. C'est magnifique! What's going on here, Tish? It's a special exhibit of the works of local artists. And right in the middle, that's right, uh-huh. Wah! Carver! Wow, congrats, Tish. What a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. Yeah, kudos. There it is, right out in the open for everyone to see. You see that, Jeremy? That's art. Aggie! Aggie! <laughs> What's with him? Uh, Laura, I believe it's your turn to feel this one. He's overwhelmingly touched by the honor you have bestowed on him. That's one small step for man, one large pizza for you. So here's my plan. Tonight at midnight, we sneak into the mall through a readily accessible air duct and terminate that sculpture with extreme prejudice. Doesn't that verge on illegal? That's why we need to get in and out fast, which is where the hovercraft comes in. Tino, you'll be operating the radio control robot from here. It'll be armed with a huge meat tenderizer. Which you guys will never guess the great news. The mall was hit by an asteroid? Try! The art critic from the Bahia Bay Times liked my sculpture. Try, it's gonna be on the local news tonight. Try, thousands of people are gonna see it. Try, by morning, you'll be a household word. Okay, maybe you should stop bestowing overwhelmingly touching honors on him. So, what up? Uh, not much. 
I'm just gonna be the laughing stock of the whole town is all, and I don't even know what a laughing stock is. The whole town? What are you, nuts? You really think that news show is carried all over the county? I hear you can pick it up in Nevada. You know, it's great how you have this gift for making people feel better. Well, there isn't really anything you can do about it. Oh, no? Uh-oh. I'm sick of lying to Tish. I don't think the truth will hurt her nearly as much as lying is hurting me. The truth? <laughs> the truth? You can't use the truth. It's untested. It could blow up in your face. Good heavens, man. It could cause a chain reaction that would destroy the Earth. Okay, you seriously need to lay off the comic books. Fortunately, I, Captain Dreadnought, will be there to save you all from peril. What? Tish, you got a sec? Yeah. First, tell me, does this lighting do justice to my sculpture? Well, I would personally prefer more of a play of light and shadow. Accent on the shadow. That would be different. Okay, look, I'm just gonna say this. You know you're sculpturing me? Yeah. Um, I don't really like it. I mean, I pretend that I liked it because I didn't want to hurt your feelings, but I just really don't like it much. You thought that would hurt my feelings? Whoa. I can't handle criticism, Carver. What do you think I am, some kind of oversensitive loser? No, I... What? So you're not crushed? Of course not. Look, I'll just make a few minor changes. Tweak, tweak. And it's a whole new Auge d'Art. Voila! Now it's called Pino. <laughs> it's only fair since he keeps saying how much he loves it, right? And we definitely want to be fair. And here with me is Tish Katsufrakis, a young artist whose work has received unstinting critical praise. Observation. Art critics are nuts. I hear ya. Tish, would you like to tell us a little something about your sculpture? Certainly, Helen. Let's get a close-up, shall we? Not unlike the Venus de Milo, my masterpiece has a name people shall never forget. Tino. <laughs> okay, I messed up good. But at least Carver learned. No, 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 no. I'm the one who figured it out. Let me tell it for a change. Well, you, you can't just shoot. Get on. Okay. <clears throat> now, I figured out that you shouldn't lie to protect a friend's feelings. I mean, you ought to trust that your friend can handle what it is you have to say. Plus, if you do, the whole thing could wind up biting you hard on the hind parts. Got it? I think I handled that pretty well. Sure. But your fly's open. <laughs> <laughs>